Okay, in this video, we are going to save project files and audio files in Audition. So we're in Audition, we're gonna create a new multi-track file, a new project file, and let's call this assignment one, Audition. Now, where are we gonna put it? Uh, we have these drives. We have these orange lacy drives, five terabyte. Please note, they are spinning disks. They are mechanical drives. They are not solid state. So let's be as careful as we can. Please consider being careful and not um, banging them and dropping them if possible. Uh, it could mess up with our mess up our files. This is this is the place where I want you to back up your work. I also want you to learn how to save your audition project files and audio files on your local drive or your cloud drive, whether that be OneDrive or you're using Google Drive or right onto your local drive on your laptop. So you have your project files, but we have a backup in case something happens. Always a good practice. So let's browse and tell this that we want to put it in this DGMDA. That's this guy. There's three of these orange babies, and they are always going to live in Mahoney in room 200. There's going to be three stacked over there. That is an editing studio, and there are A, B, and C. We're going to use the A drive. So if we go into that A drive, I created a folder called Podcasting 4200. I took the time to make a folder for all of us, including myself. So I'll open that folder. You'll see there's already assignment one Audacity because I just completed that video for those of you who are using Audacity. And we're going to choose that and click. And we have our sample rate and our bit depth and it's mono. And if we go back in there, we'll see. There it is. Assignment one, audition. There is the project file. There's the audition little icon. You'll note that this is a .sesx file. Creates a little backup folder for itself. Nice. Okay, so just for the heck of it, I will record something in here. Testing one, two, three, check one, two, three. And then, of course, we always put music in. So I'll use the same music file that I used in the Audacity video, this little country vibe that I like. And we'll put that guy right over here. I'll crank it down. Testing one, two, three. So we are creating content. We're making edits. We're moving things around. Let's make sure we save this project on a regular basis, right? So let's go here. It's telling me that one or more of these media files are outside the session folder, which is up here. And I'm going to, it's asking me, do you want to include that in there? And I'm going to say, yeah, that's really convenient. So good. Okay. So the project is being saved every time we do that. So back here, this project is being saved. Note that a new folder. This is me, this is my track right there. A new folder was created for this guy right here. You may have dumped in your audio there, that's fine. And now I wanna export this as a playable and uploadable podcast, say, audio file. So we go here, again to file, and we go to export, and we go to multi-track mix down, entire session. It's going to name it Assignment 1 Audition Mixdown. We can tell it where we want it to go. I want it to go into, into this area here, into this folder, Assignment 1 Audition. We can do some other things here, but for right now, let's keep all these things checked. Let's keep this the way it's defaulted. And we click OK. And now, back here, we have a file from that project. Playable file. Testing one, two, three. 
three. Check one, two, three. Okay. So we can close this project now. Let me save it. There it is. And now let me close it. And if a couple days go by and I want to work on this project again and add more and edit more, I can simply double click here and we're open. Or I could have gone up here to file open, open recent. Usually it'll show up in your recent uh, view there. And basically that's it. So we're, you know, we're working, we're creating our projects. We're saving them on the orange drive. We're saving them on our local drive says, uh, as your working files, but this is a backup. Um, these drives are going to be over in Mahoney at room 200. One last thing. I want to show you what metadata is. All files have this kind of data in them. And how does that get there? And what is it? Why, why is it there? So this is a, a royalty-free, let me move myself out of the way here a little bit. This is a royalty-free uh, audio file. So it has all kinds of information, the URL, where it came from. I use Storyblocks. You can see that there. Back in our DAWs, our digital audio workstations, we can apply metadata so that that shows up when you're clicking on a file on a drive and anyone can see that. And the way we're going to do that here in Audition is we're going to go to Window and Metadata, and that's going to open this panel over here. And we're going to choose ID3, and here's where we can put in the title of the podcast. We can put in the episode. We can put in who's the artist. I'd like you to get used to this. Put your name in there. Uh, this could be the episode, this could be the podcast title, comments. You, If you're using royalty-free music that the artist wants attribution, this is a good place to do that. You can, or if there's any copyright stuff that needs to go in here, URLs, composers. I don't want to make this into a huge deal, but I want you to know how to use it and I want you to use it. Because if you're going to get into the podcasting space or the music space, digital music space for that matter, you should know what metadata is and how to use it for yourself and for your clients. So let's just say we put some values in here. I won't go crazy. Podcast. And now we go and we export this file. Let's save. And now we go and export this file, multi-track, entire session. And it's asking me that file name already exists. And do I want to overwrite it? And in this case, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm just going to replace that file with this one. And there it goes. Now, when we go here, There it is. I put in that VVVV there. There's my name. Uh, that, oh, that came in automatically. Okay. But you get it. You can put in all kinds of uh, information here. And I think that's important to know. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.